So now that I have Jeff's note card scanner working, let's create a touch note card giver. So let's right click on the screen and go to create. And let's bring a cube out on the stage. And we're going to keep it a cube now because we're going to rotate it. And I've actually written the code for this. And here it is right here in Word. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, paste it into the script for the cube. So let's right click and copy. And let's get rid of that. And click on the cube and go to content and hit new script and double click. And we're going to highlight all that and control V to paste in my code in place of that. And this is fairly easy script. We're going to go through it line by line. Now the first part is string note cards. I'm going to declare a string called note card and put in it welcome note card. So in my inventory, I've got to have a welcome note card created. And then I need to bring that from my inventory into the contents of my object along with my script. So let's go ahead and go to the next line. So we have the note card string and below that is the default which brings us into the state entry and I have an LL set text which gives me the name over the note card, welcome note card, which is in white and an alpha of one. Next is the touch start function where I have the LL give inventory item, detects my key and gives me the note card. And that's all there is to this script, fairly simple to work with. So if you're having difficulty understanding the scripting commands in Second Life and what the parameters required for those commands, Second Life actually gives you some help. For example, let's take a look at LL give inventory. Let's go to help. LSL wiki help. And here's a drop down menu. So let's go to LL give inventory. Let's find that command. And there's the LL give inventory. You can go ahead and click on that. And up will come the parameters for that particular command and actually some test code on how it works. Isn't that fantastic? So you can actually go to these different commands and get code and start playing around with it. We'll help you learn more and more about how to code and script in Second Life. So there you have it. Nice little tool to get you going. So I've got this right here. Let's go ahead and test it and see if it works. Save it. It does compile. Let's X out of it. Let's get out of edit. And click here. You can see my note card giver, but something comes up here. What's the problem? Hey, it's complaining. And why is it complaining? Let's come along here and say, unable to give inventory, no item named welcome note card. Oh, I forgot to put my note card into the content of my object. So let's right click again. Let's hit edit. Let's go to uh, new script content. There you go. And let's open up an inventory. And let's drag a note card into my contents of my object. Great, there's the note card. Now let's get out edit and run it and see if it works. Let's click on it. And there's my note card and it says scanner note card message. Well, this is not the scanner message. Let's change that. So we're going to double click. going to go back to the content of my uh, right click edit. Let's double click on that note card. You can change it right here. And we're going to say touch note card giver. Cool. And we're going to save that. And now let's try again and see if it works. Let's keep it. Oh, touch note card giver. Fantastic. So that's the way you want to work with that. You know what? This is good, but I want to draw attention to it by changing its color and getting it to rotate. Let's do that next. So now let's make this cube a little more attractive and let's get it to rotate. So let's go back to edit and go to textures or texture and let's just choose a texture for it. And we'll select brain. Select. And now we have a brain on my cube. Very good. And let's bring this up a little bit, a little closer so we can see it. Now what I want my cube to do is rotate. And I've actually copied the code that I'm used to make it to rotate directly from Jeff Heaton's book. I have to have an LL set timer event in my uh, entry state. And then here's the timer function, which causes the uh, cube to rotate. Let's see if we can get it to work. So let's go ahead and take my LL timer event. 
And this 0.1 means fire it every 0.1 seconds. So let's go ahead and grab this and copy this. And let's go back to the code. Going to go to content, double click on script. And let's put that in my entry state. Control V to paste. And now let's go back and get that timer uh, rotating. So this timer basically is the timer function which fires every 0.1 seconds. And we create a rotation variable here which rotates our object. So let's go ahead and cut and paste this. Once again, Control C. Let's go right back to our code. And it is another function that's being called. So just below this touch start, we're going to Control C this in. Or Control V this in. And now let's save this. And let's go ahead and run the code and see if it works. So you can see our cube is nicely rotating. If you click on it, then it gives you the note card. Fantastic. Now, if you want to know how this code works, you can go to Jeff's first book, Introduction to Lending Scripting. And on page 145, Jeff talks all about rotation. And I actually got the code from page 147. Now, if you don't want to go to his book, here's the code right here. With the LL set timer, 0.1 is every 0.1 seconds. This timer is fired. And there is a conversion between quaternions and real rotation coordinates, which we understand. Of course, Jeff goes into great detail and explains all that to you in his text. Well, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.